in this one, for example, the chimney was hit and the masonry work, the stones were actually blown off at the base of the chimney. Um, lightning tends to need a place to exit. And in this particular case, when it got to the base of the chimney, that's where it released its energy and exited and it knocked all these stones off the chimney. Um, in this particular case, a lightning rod may have helped by giving the lightning a direct path to ground without releasing the energy in the stones as it exited. This one is also very dramatic. This house hit directly by lightning, causing significant damage and even a small fire. So again, very lucky this structure did not burn to the ground. Uh, we should note in this picture, some of this damage was actually caused by um, the fire department putting out the fire, pulling out some of the insulation, pulling off some additional uh, sheathing and um, siding as well. But again, very dramatic um, indication of a direct lightning strike. And last, but certainly not least, is this condenser that's hit by direct lightning causing severe charring and visual damage. Obviously though, this was not the highest point on the property. You'll notice there's a pole there, the house is taller than this unit, there's probably trees on the um, property as well. So you just never know when or what it might hit. It's very random and very unpredictable. In this particular case, we're gonna learn more about this claim later in the presentation to see the outcome of this direct lightning strike.